morning, Megan. Good morning. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I'm so pleased that you agreed to do this because we want to start this student art series and you're headed off to college. So we I thought am. before we go, we can have a conversation. And I love your shirt and we'll talk about your Thank shirt you. a little bit later on. Today, we are here at Constitution Square at Farmer's Market. And the reason we're here partially is because our office is here right across the way. And also because we have artists who are here at the market. They come every week and exhibit and sell their work. So it's sort of a project we initiated with the Farmer's Market to increase the activity of arts and business. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on too. The first group that we're going to talk to is a little bit different than you, but I want to talk about how you got interested in art yourself. So you said that you started out sort of in middle school. I did. My brother was in wrestling and to pass the time, I would actually bring just random paper and pencils and would look up videos of things to draw. And that's how I would pass the time and that's how I kind of discovered art and I found out that I was really interested in it and decently good. Decently good. Well, I'll, we'll show your work later. You are more than decently good. Your first experience though in an art class was in middle school, is that right? Yes, yeah. I was in art as part of the rotation in middle school. Um, and then around eighth grade is when I started getting interested in it. And so I kind of paid attention more in the paid art class. Paid attention more. Yeah. I want to say to, for the benefit of the people who see this, you're a student, you went to Danville schools, mm -hmm. graduated from Danville High School, although you did not do all of your education in the schools, you all moved yes. around a little bit. So you graduated from Danville High School and you will be headed off to college. One thing I want to talk about is when a person's starting out in art, you're not really sure if you'll ever want to do it for the rest of your life. Yeah. So I want you to meet some artists who are part of the Arts Commission's program. This is Kathy York. Kathy Hello. is with York's Corks. Nice Megan Meneer, who graduated from Danville. So I thought maybe you might talk a little bit about how you started and where that took you and how you ended up. Um, I started in 2012 with York's Corks. And I started with um, making key rings and ornaments, magnets and things out of corks. And I was fascinated by the different designs on the corks. And then I moved into making trivets and I got interested in silver plate. And I taught myself how to stamp them. You, but and you I, mentioned you retired. Yes. You were not an artist to start no. with. I was an uh, elementary librarian for 20 years. So once you start looking, you can make something out of nothing. And that's the name of a children's book. Also, we've been talking a little bit about becoming more involved as a business person as time goes on, and so you came to the market, and you've been here, this is your second year. Yes, it's been wonderful. Met lots of nice people, and I love when people come back and say, oh, the spoon I bought from you, it was a perfect gift. My friend loved it. I've gotten a, a lot of great satisfaction out of creating things. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate Thank it. One of the things that really is um, we want to stress to people, students, they don't have to be... Um, wanting to be an artist professionally. You know, you can do something else, which you are. Yeah. You are going to be, hopefully, an art therapist, right? Yes, an art therapist. Yeah. In high school, you had a little bit different experience than um, the, maybe a typical art student. How many years did you take art in high school? I only was able to take two years of art. Was there someone who influenced you? Um, my art teacher, Ms. Stinnett, was a very, very helpful because she helped me refine my skills because my style is hyper-realistic, so she helped me refine the details and uh, kind of find that hyper-realistic was my style because I wasn't quite to that level yet when I got there. The first time I met you was uh, your Youth Arts Festival. It would have been your junior year and you did the OWL. That yes. was your junior year. Mm -hmm. I actually wasn't in art that year. No, you weren't in art, but Ms. Stinnett still exhibited your work, which was really cool because it was the talk of the show. There were so many people who said, did you see that owl? So then you did a wonderful thing. You donated that owl to us to use in our fundraiser. And it was chosen by a collector who was so thrilled that they got a piece of art from an emerging artist. An artist usually puts together a portfolio and I asked you to bring several pieces that you wanted to share with us. In particular, you said one of these is your favorite, which is that? Yes, it would be this one. Um, this is actually a character from a movie called Nowhere Boy about John Lennon. 
And I liked this image so much because of the sleeve, actually. And that's what I spent most of my time on when I was working on this. The sleeve itself took about four hours to do. And you started sketching. So sketching, clearly working with graphite. Is this graphite? Yes, this is graphite. graphite. The detail is amazing. I, I think that's incredible. Thank you. And, and I mean, even the light and the dark here, it's very good. This is my first kind of attempt at watercolor. Um, I saw this image on Pinterest, actually, and thought it was really cool and kind of dynamic with like the blending of the colors here from the light. Um, and so I had just gotten a watercolor set for Christmas and decided to do this one. You're right about the movement. It almost looks like that is swinging in the trees. This is my first attempt at a self-portrait. I personally don't think it looks that much like me, but I've been told it does. I did this one because I was actually entering into GSA and it required a self-portrait and I had actually re recently seen a video of an artist who uses pencils as like the main subject and then used watercolor to kind of bring color to the entire picture and I really liked butterflies at the time. The person is completely graphite and then everything else is just watercolor. So when you uh, tell us you're going to college, right? Yes, tell am. us a little bit about where you're going. Um, well, I'm going to the University of the Cumberlands and I'm going to study psychology with a minor in art so that eventually I can get my master's in art therapy. Very good. And uh, what drew you to the University of the Cumberlands? The percussion instructor came and did a presentation at the high school. And after they finished with all the music and all the different techniques, because one of the students actually graduated from Danville, he started talking about how they lowered tuition and you could be in the band without actually having to major in music, which most colleges require. And so that kind of sparked my interest at first. And as I did more research, I kind of realized that like, you know, it's a Christian-based community and it seems really tight-knit because it's really small. And so it seemed like the ideal place to go to college for someone like me who is very family-oriented. And you can be in the band, which you enjoy yes. without the pressure, and you can proceed with your art mm -hmm. as well as your psychology degree. Well, Megan, I so appreciate you spending the time with us, and we'll keep track of you over the years and see where Megan Manier ends up. All righty. Thank you. Thank you.